Tom Henry tattoos, I'm going to show you how to make lamb and couscous salad. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to do my recipe based on 200 grams of lamb backstrap. Now this recipe will be enough for about two people. So you can multiply it if you like. So the first thing we're going to do is marinate our lamb backstrap. So I'm just going to add in one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of red sumac, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of olive oil. And all we're going to do is toss our backstrap around in that, and we want to get it well coated with our marinade. So we'll just cover this with some cling wrap now. We're going to place this into the fridge to marinate for just a couple of hours. You can leave this overnight if you like, and do it tomorrow. Alright guys, so just into a bowl, I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of chicken stock. I've just heated this up so it's hot. And to our chicken stock, we'll add in half a cup of couscous. And we'll just give that a quick stir in there. Just like so. I will set this to the side for now. So what we'll do at this point is prep our vegetables now. So first we'll bring across one red onion. Now we only need half of this, we don't need the whole thing. What we're going to do with our onion is just finely dice it. You can go coarser if you like, but I don't really like coarse onions in a salad. So we'll just go fine. Just like so. So what we'll do with our onion now is just place this into another bowl and we'll prepare our salad in there. Next we'll bring across one cucumber, just slice off the ends and we'll just slice through the middle, slice through the middle again and we just want to dice it. Not as fine as our onion though. Okay and we'll add our cucumber to our onions as well. Next we'll bring across two tomatoes. So we'll slice them through the middle, and all we want to do is just coarsely dice these, just like so. So we'll add our tomatoes to our cucumber and onion as well. Next I'm just going to bring across two spring onion stalks, and we just want to finely slice these. And we'll add that straight to our bowl as well. So next I'm just going to bring across two radishes, I've already cleaned these and washed these. What we're going to do with our radish is thinly slice it. So you want to try and go as thin as possible like that. And we'll add this straight to our bowl. So if you have radish that is too wide for example, what you can do, just slice straight through the middle so they're smaller pieces. That's completely up to you. So guys, that's our salad mixture ready now. So what we're going to do now is work on our lamb. So just into a pan on a medium to high heat, we'll add about 2 tablespoons of oil. Once your oil is nice and hot, we'll add our lamb straight in. You want to make sure to hear that sizzle. Now we only want to turn this once. So we'll just let it cook on this side for about 2-3 to three minutes. I'm going to cook this to about a medium. After about 3 minutes, you can see the sides are starting to go nice and brown. I'm just going to go ahead and flip it. Look at that beautiful colour already. So we'll cook on this side for about another three to four minutes. As I said, if you want to go well done, cook it longer. If you want to go rare, cook it less. Alright guys, so I'm just at the four minute mark on this side too. Now if I touch it, you can see it's still bouncing back a bit. So we're sitting at about medium rare now. So what I'm going to do is turn the heat off. And we're just going to rest this on the side like that. Now by the time this rests, it will be at about medium. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and stop putting this together. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is just slice this. I'm going to try and get nice thin strips. Just look at that, perfect medium. Okay, beautiful. So guys, by this point, our couscous has absorbed all that stock and it's nice and fluffy. So we're going to add this straight in to our salad. What I'm also going to do is just crush in a cube of feta cheese. Now you don't have to do this, I know a lot of people don't like feta cheese, but this goes very well. Feta always goes with lamb. Next we'll just dress this with a tablespoon of olive oil. 
and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Let's give this a good mix together. And that looks absolutely stunning. And it smells very fresh. And we'll just go ahead and place our lamb straight on top. Just like that. Now you can toss it through if you like, but it just looks much more presentable like that, doesn't it? The lamb is the showcase. Okay guys, and that was my take on lamb and couscous salad. So you saw how easy it is to make and it's a very elegant dish, a lot of bright colours and a lot of good flavours in there as well. So variation wise, as you saw, I did mine with lemon juice and olive oil. You can do this with balsamic as well and it works just as well. And of course you can change the vegetables as well. I kept it very, very simple, but you can do it with different vegetables as well if you like. So let's give this a try now. Oh, that is amazing. As always guys, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. You can also let me know in the comments what you want to see me make next time. You can also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll see you all next time.